Hey everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sean. And we watched a movie. Yeah, we did. hooray for us. Yeah, hooray for us. <laughs> we watched Eurovision Song Contest. The Story of Fire Saga. There you go, thank you. That's a long one. Yeah, it is. Which is great because as someone who writes movie reviews and they have to be 300 words. Oh, I see. You can just repeat little, that title a little title trick a of the times. Yeah, <laughs> trick of the trade. It really pads out a review if you're struggling for words, which I am not often, I will admit. No, never. <sighs> yeah. So this is a brand new comedy just released today. Will Ferrell, Rachel McAdams, and it's on Netflix. So, Sean, what did you think? I enjoyed it. Okay. <laughs> it's <laughs> stupid and it knows it. Yes. yes. <laughs> but it's fun. And it plays it pretty straight a lot of the yeah, time. Yeah, it does. <laughs> like, it's very earnest. Yeah. Uncomfortably earnest. So, as Canadians, we don't really know about this Eurovision nonsense. No, we but don't. But apparently, it's like an entire Europe wide. American Idol kind of thing. Hmm. So, uh, like a real thing. Not just made up for this Not movie. Not just made up for this movie. Uh, Will Ferrell has, I believe, a Swedish wife. And so he first was introduced to this by her family way back in 1999 and has followed it ever since. And so, uh, you know, he's mining that comedy gold, even long term. That's pretty impressive. Yes, he made it is. an investment. <laughs> yes, he did. Um, and here it is paying off. So, yeah, it, every country seems to, you know, have their own little, it's like the Olympics, I guess. You have your own little trials in your own country, and then you choose who you're sending over as your, your top pick, your best delegation. And so little Will Ferrell has, ever since seeing ABBA on the show, which I'm going to go ahead and assume is a real thing, having not done any of the research, but assume that <laughs> it fits, yeah. in like the 1970s, ABBA found their initial fame by winning Eurovision. Um, ever since seeing that, it has been his dream to be on this show, to win this show, excuse me, to win. To win. Um, only one thing is stopping him. Not true. Two things are stopping him. Number one, his dad. His dad played by Pierce Brosnan. And I felt kind of sad about him being kind of a, a mean, gruff guy yeah, in this movie. Because he, he is not supporting his son. No. He is very upfront about being quite ashamed. Like, even the dancing is too much. He, like, just this is not a thing that his son, son should be engaged in. As a child, and as an perhaps adult. even more so, now he's a middle-aged man. Which actually I think is um, underplaying it a little bit in the case of Will Ferrell. He is, you know, he's, he's in that there. bracket, let's yeah. say. Um, and p has never done anything else. Uh, he lives with his dad, because I don't really know how else... Well, he's playing at the local pub. Yes, he is. Uh, every, every Saturday night, it seems. Yes. Uh, not, not that everyone really asks him to or enjoys this music, but they do have one constant request. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ding dong. That's right. It is a crowd pleaser. Oh, it's wonderful. The crowd would be <laughs> much pleased if they only ever sang that one song. <laughs> but true. no, Will Smith. Will Ferrell. Am I the first person in the entire world yeah, to have confused so. Will Ferrell and Will Smith? Uh, you know what? Having the first names the same gets me every time. Which is terrible because that's a very common thing. There are a lot of a wills, lot of wills in this world. Uh, it gets me in trouble. Well. Will Ferrell. Thank you. Keep punching me every time I do it and maybe I'll learn. Uh, my, you know. He, he, he writes songs, he performs them, they sound so great in his head. The movie basically starts out with, with a wonderful, a music wonderful video. yeah, soaring, <laughs> wonderful production values. In fact, I think he's in the garage or the basement or something, yes, he but is. it's beautiful in his head. Rachel McAdams sings like an angel. No, she does not do the <laughs> actual singing in the movie. I don't think she can sing at all. Uh, apparently, it is a uh, I think it's credited to My Marianne, but it's a Eurovision Junior 
uh, participant. Oh, junior. Yes. Okay. We're just learning stuff in spades about, about Europe Eurovision and, its weird... and Eurovision Junior. Yes. They're really obsessed. And like, I thought it was really cool to just even learn about their weird voting. Like, they give each other points. You can't vote for yourself, your own home country, which is probably for the best. Um, so they give votes to have, like, the countries give votes to each other. And then there's the popular vote. Boy. Yeah, it's a whole thing. I felt like it could get political and it could be rigged. But let's not get into all that. Let's pretend it's Leave just it for the movie. a nice, friendly competition amongst just wonderful fraternal nations. <laughs> including an oversexed Russian contingent. Yeah. Uh, played by Dan Stevens, who had George Michael hair, yeah. but insisted insisted quite heartily, in fact, that he was not gay. Well, because there's no gay people in Russia. That's true, there aren't any. Did you know that? Like, that's a pretty <laughs> that's big a country. Big, yeah. That's a big population. Those are some cold winter nights. <laughs> and not a one. Well. So, you know. Recording this movie. Yeah. Also weird, <laughs> a lot of men's satin shirts sold in that country. <laughs> yeah. For no gay people. That's true. Yeah. It's, uh... It's weird, but it's true. <laughs> um, so Will Ferrell, his entire dream is to be a winner on Eurovision, and Rachel McAdams is, I guess, kind of along for the ride. In fact, she's more talented of the two. Not that either of them even really knows that. But she's really just wanting to have his baby, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's right. why she's sticking around, even though everyone has told her not to. <laughs> and that is sage advice, I would say. Oh yeah, boy! You don't I want think... to hitch your wagon to that. <laughs> no, I think it's a pretty shallow dating pool where they're from. Though. Yeah, I mean it's Iceland. Iceland yeah. is a very small. I mean they have to keep track of who is related to who, and you <laughs> yes. have to do like the check before you can yes. be with anyone. Mm -hmm. And that did not <laughs> seem as definitive as I would want it to be. No. <laughs> and they're not even from the big city in Iceland no. either. Just <laughs> anyways. Oh boy. Um, so, after some chicanery, they end up being selected as Iceland's delegate. Um, you know what's going to happen. exactly by earning it. <laughs> well, the important <laughs> thing is they won by default. Yeah. I mean, they <laughs> lost completely, but... They're going to Eurovision. They were the only ones available. <laughs> yeah. And they got to go to Scotland, which I guess won it the previous year, so they get to host it this year. Yeah, which is weird because Scotland's not its own country, but anyway... <laughs> anyway... Um, and, and immediately it was funny because it was, it was meant to coincide with, I think it's the 65th anniversary of the show or whatever you want to call it. So it was meant to come out in May to celebrate that. But guess what? For the first time ever, it was canceled. Thank you, COVID. It was canceled. But in the movie, they're still referring to Eurovision 2020, which we know does not exist. It's kind of weird to be watching this stuff. Like, yeah. you're like, no, no, no. That's not how it would if be. If it's in 2020, that's not a thing. Face masks, yeah. social distancing, mm -hmm. if at all. <laughs> that's right. Uh, Anyways, so but they got a few is, details yeah. wrong. Let's just say I mean, they they didn't predict it. <laughs> no, who, they who did, did not. right? Who did? Um, so I mean, the Iceland band. What are they called again? Fire Saga. Fire Saga. Thank you. It's a pretty good name for an Icelandic band. <laughs> uh, so they are um, not just like not great at singing and songwriting. They also are nearly lethal when yeah. they perform. Oh, yeah. They get into a lot <laughs> of physical... Disasters. Disasters, which does make for an exciting show. You it know, does. is someone going to burst into flames? <laughs> is someone going to fall off the stage, be electrocuted? And the answer is, yeah, Maybe. probably yeah. they are. Something is gonna happen. Oh, Lord. And yet, they keep dreaming big for these big production numbers. Yeah, they don't tone it down. Without, no, <laughs> you do not learn a lesson. Um, and that's fine. Do the accents weave in and out, come and go? Of course yes. they do. 
Uh, neither of them <laughs> is, is, is a real Icelandic person. And it's possible neither has heard a real Icelandic accent before either. It's possible. So it's exciting. Oh gosh, what else can we say about this movie? I mean, it's... I'll say this. Sean, I'm glad you liked it. It does have its moments. <laughs> it does. But it has a two-hour runtime, so it's it long. also it should have has half hour other shorter. moments that yeah. aren't funny. I think it is just good enough to watch it because it's free on Netflix. Yeah. That's what I think. <laughs> but, if but you paid good. for this in the theater... In the theater, it would have been a disappointment. But yes. But it's it, all right. It's all right. And it's probably the funniest movie of 2020 so far. It could be. You know, we have not had a lot of big comedies. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> for what that's worth. Good job. A shallow pond, you found it. It's just like the movie. <laughs> yes, that's right. Sometimes you win just by eliminating just by showing the competition. Up. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so it does have its moments. It's a lot of, you know, Will Ferrell type comedy. Yeah. Which, uh, he certainly has his fans, but he also has his dis detractors. And I have been on both sides of that fence. <laughs> Sometimes so, in both sides of oh, one day. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yes. But you know what? I didn't even really like him on SNL. I really kind of felt like he was just too much for me. He's too over the top and ridiculous. And he had, like, his humor makes me feel uncomfortable. Because it's just like, mm -hmm. uh, I can't take it. Yeah, that's um, the whole point. Yes. Over and the top he and kind of won me over a little bit with like old school and Anchorman and those kinds of things. But of course, for every Anchorman, he has had five really big misses. Like the glory. <laughs> yeah. For example. <laughs> Good example. Thanks. Um, yeah, and I would put this more in the middle <laughs> yeah it's, it's not definitely a classic not a classic but it's all right it's it does have its moments mm -hmm. and like the music is pretty hilarious yeah but they're <laughs> mostly originals written yeah, for this they are. movie uh there is like one moment where they have what do they call it like a song along or something yeah that's what they call where it. like all of the participants sing for the first time songs you might actually recognize. Yeah, just a mashup of stuff. It's a, I thought it was gonna, it was a little pitch perfect, I guess, you know, when they do their sing-off or whatever they call it. But it was all right. It's finally a musical moment you can get behind. Although, by the end of the movie, you will be singing <laughs> along to Ya Ya Ding Dong, for sure. It's catchy. Yes, it is. The lyrics are pretty simple. Yeah. Um, conveniently in English. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I have nothing not to love there. Possibly my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say Will Ferrell is probably not my favorite part of the movie. Although, I mean, I'm not always Rachel McAdams. She's back and forth. She's she's had a dicey. I mean, she is an Oscar winner. I just want to say hi, Matt. We miss you terribly. Um, the minute the Oscar nominations came out, um, sh and she got one for Spotlight, and Matt was just devastated because for the rest of her life or our life, we will have to refer to her as Oscar-nominated Rachel McAdams. And that's just upsetting to some people who feel like, is she though? <laughs> no, she is. She is. You can't take it away from that's her. That's right. Thank God she's white. We'll just say that. <laughs> Um, yeah, so she has had um, some comedy in her background. In fact, she and Will Ferrell have worked with director uh, David Dobkin before. Oh. Mm -hmm. Both in the movie? same movie. You don't know? No, I don't. Wedding Crashers. Oh. Yeah, that's going Oh, yeah, he's, a, he's, he's the old a guy in the basement. Crasher. Yeah. Yes, so <laughs> they do right. not have any scenes together. I forgot but, he was uh, in that movie. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. There yeah. you go. That was also probably the first time I saw Bradley Cooper. Oh yeah, as the the dirtbag frat boy. Mm -hmm. As he, I mean, he could still play. Fair, that. yes. <laughs> That's right. So yeah, I kind of feel like this is uh, on shaky ground, but I think it's just good enough to pop it on, give it a Put try. Put it on. You're not gonna lose anything. 
Uh, you could turn it off if it's really not your thing, but how can Netflix, it not be your thing? <laughs> Easy gamble. Well, Sean, we're gonna have a little talking to. <laughs> yeah. I think, but yeah, I mean, there's just so much little crazy details, like the Icelandic folklore tradition of yes. praying to elves, who treated them pretty well. Yeah, very well. I Sometimes mean, they went too far. <laughs> yes. In fact, they always went too they far. They always went too far. Um, yeah. It's true. But you've got to really watch out what you ask for. If I And apparently, they, maybe they just really like their whiskey. Because if you leave a good enough leave offering, a good offering, they are going to come out guns a-blazing. And they will. I might they have your back. Literally. Yeah. yeah. Well, not everyone's back. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have it. Don't turn your back on it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So, yeah. What, like a weird cast, Pierce Brosnan, not used nearly enough. Oh no, he's not in it much at all. Um, D Demi Lovato plays- Yeah, who even knew? Yeah, the uh, Icelandic singer who should have gone, but didn't. Um, we, Sean liked the, what were they called? The Vikings, The not the, Modern Vikings, the mid-century Vikings. What was that? Oh yeah, really? the Belarusian. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, the no? Icelandic guy who was kind of like the. <laughs> no, I don't remember. Oh, okay, we'll have to. I'm sure we'll have to watch it again. Yeah, he was. He had the full Viking thing, but then he had a beautiful voice. Oh yeah. Yeah. I did like him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did at the time. I now did. you've blocked it. There out. were just so many great musical acts. So in here. many great musical acts. <laughs> uh yeah. And uh, the one Icelandic actor I do know, uh, Olafur Olafsson, oh, yeah. was in that Maria Bamford, my That's great right. husband. Yeah. So I always enjoy seeing him. Yeah. He's, uh, he's a good time. He is Wasn't a good time. Wasn't he in the Meg? Sure was. Oh my God. He'll pop up. <laughs> He'll just be his happy self. He's a happy guy. Yeah, he is. So. I mean, I assume. <laughs> or else he's a very good actor. Yes. <laughs> And I think Icelandic people are a little hard to read. Like, they're hard people, but I think mostly a happy people. I think so. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, the rest of Europe, I don't know. Although, the, the one thing they all do seem to agree on is they hate Americans. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> so, Will Ferrell really gets to release a lot of his contempt for Americans in this movie. He does. He works mm -hmm. through some stuff. Uh, that <laughs> maybe is <laughs> yep. things people might have yelled yeah. at him. Odds uh, are. <laughs> I mean, it's Will Ferrell. Mm -hmm. People so. would yell stuff at him for sure. Oh, of course. Mostly his own lines, probably. Yeah, probably. Which, I mean, that's got to get so old. Oh, yeah. You have to pretend to be so gracious when you're a celebrity, because if you're not, then people will. Oh, yeah, then you're the worst. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Gross. I know you couldn't take it. Of course I couldn't. <laughs> I don't even like when you say nice things to me. I know. I really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Sean liked this one. I recommend it. It's stupid, but it's fun. Yes. Well, that's the thing. It is a light, easy watch. Possibly infuriating if you hate Will Ferrell or if you hate Icelandic people. <laughs> Or if you are a gay Russian, but you don't exist. So don't worry about that last one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yes, it's worth a try. You will not be blown away. You will not remember this movie five minutes after you've seen it. And this is, there's no line in here that you will yell at Will Smith. Will, will Smith. Will Ferrell! <laughs> there is actually. And it's Yaya Ding, Ding Dong. <laughs> That's right. Try yelling that one at Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him I say hey, but I still get him confused with that other guy who's so much like him. Oh God, okay. <laughs> we need to end it here because things are... They're falling things apart. Things are falling apart. <laughs> Okay. Well, thanks for sticking with us this long. I've already discredited myself several times, but... We appreciate it. Bye. Bye.